I'm going to be playing through the five speedrunning challenges for the Nintendo World Championships Week 2, ranging from easiest to hardest. My goal is not just to get the fastest and best ranking, an S. Oh, I got the S. Got the S. Got the S. Got the S. All right, that was it. I'm done. One? It's also to push every single level to their limits. And I'll be racing my buddy L on stream to see who can do it first. So let's begin with a classic challenge one, Power Grab Morph Ball. This That's might be hard. Key. This was my first attempt. It went just about as well as you would expect from a first attempt. Hmm. I think you just want like the optimal jump up. I, I think that's like the lever. Well, is it like maybe you should jump from further away or are you trying to jump? That, so that's point? that that's what I'm trying to do right now is jump from like the furthest point possible. Mm -hmm. But oh, pro tip, if you press uh, L and R mm -hmm. instead of Z L Z R, just press mm -hmm. L and R, then you can reset the level. Oh, okay, bet. Oh man. I don't know how I'm gonna save these frames. Okay, I got the S. All right, it was a, th right. <laughs> a 3.78. You want to jump the first frame that your feet touch the ground after like the platform. So That's feet touch the ground, jump, jump, fall. That's mm -hmm. the trick. It has to be very smooth. Are you rhythmically inclined? I I'd say I'm like fairly rhythmic. I'm not, I'm not a musician. I tap on my desk all day. <laughs> that's, that's something. <laughs> good S, good S. All right, so we go next, right? We go next. What is this one? Loose change? All right. So this one, you got to cob all the coins. No, I think I no, you don't. You should just do it in like I see, I see. Because you want like the least number of jumps and the highest like coverage of coin. You just rip the jump immediately, right? Like two fast jumps. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta just let it rip. Ugh, got the two point five, but let's see two point four. Point nine. Ugh. <laughs> Wait, question. I, yeah. How, so like, so you, are you you're jumping? You're doing your long jump. Right, yeah. and then you do the long one. You get like all the coins. How many coins are when you walk backwards, like back to the left? How many coins are left usually? Uh, I usually get all of the coins by my last jump, so I'm hitting all the coins on my way. Oh, on your way, I see. It's like by the time, like that last jump should have you. You have all the coins. It, is it? I feel. Isn't it so fun? It just like. I don't know, it's no, fun to I... play the same level. Oh shit, I got a 2.11. All right, that was it. Is I'm that done. The one? Yeah. Still <laughs> <laughs> on me. The trick here is just, I mean, you gotta. It's all about the jump time. timing, man. Yeah. It's all about the jump timing. How, is that, how do you feel like your curve is with like getting better? At I curve you feel left. Like you, oh no, I'm like more of a down guy, but <laughs> you kind of get a little better then there's like a plateau and then suddenly you spike. Cause that's how I am with like getting proficient at things. My curve is like an exponential curve followed by a linear curve. And I think I get bored at the linear curve. So I guess it's a plateau by virtue of no longer doing it. <laughs> yeah, you just like leave. <laughs> like it's what it's just like what happens whenever I play a lot of things. Like, for example, I played like a lot of Valorant, right? And I I, I got two gold in a month. And it's like okay, well if you get to gold in a month, I'm sure you could get to immortal or whatever in a year. I mean, like yeah, right. Um, but then it's like okay, well that curve is gonna take a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got the S for um, Death Mountain oh. Duel. <laughs> I was a plague. I was just listening. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, you're speaking really good points. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I don't know. I think one thing that's why I like I, I do want to keep grinding out SM64 for a little bit because I think it would be kind of fun to get better at one um, thing. That one thing could also be like Valorant. I don't know. Hey, Valorant grind? I do love Valorant just because it's so social, right? Like, and I feel like mm -hmm. that. Like, is something I also, don't get in my job. Kong Donkey Kong? Barrel roll? Oh. Oh, I've been just, I've just been pushing my, my time down. Okay, I mean, you could do that if you want. <laughs> if you want. Uh, like I'll, I'll try the, I'll try it, I'll try it. I mean. Alright, I got a 7.3. That's pretty good pathing. I feel pretty good about that. Alright, barrel roll, barrel roll. Do you feel like you stick with a game for a while, or do you move, do you like moving between games? I I've seen your, like, go sorry. Ahead. I, I was going to say, I see your schedules, and I know you, you do slot in time for new games, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, I think with new games, it's like I have to figure out how I want to incorporate it, because I think I like just playing one game through and, like, finishing it all in one go. Like, I don't mm -hmm. like, especially if it's, like, a story-based game or anything like that. Um, I want to, like, be able to finish it all in one sitting. Got the S, that makes sense. by the way. I got the S as well. Barrel nice. roll. Beautiful Ooh, game. Barrel. Yeah, I know. I try to. I just want to like be able to get through a game because if I like play a game and I get like seventy percent of the way and then I pick it up later, I'm probably not gonna pick it up later. You know what I mean? I don't know. How are you like? I think 
I very rarely play anything that's not like competitive or like speed runny. And um, yeah, if I if I don't complete it like really quick, I'm not going to complete it. I, my my visual cue. The the interesting thing about barrel roll is when do you start holding left or right to go to like to get off of the ladder? And my visual cue here is Mario's butt cheeks. When his butt cheeks uh like move a little bit up to signify that he's you know gotten off the ladder. So it's called the butt cheek cue. Is that what you're titling it? Is that like your mm -hmm. your trademark? Yep. Oh my god. Oh, there's also a setting you might want to turn on at some point. But it's basically um, your current gameplay is always the biggest on the screen. Oh, yeah. That would Especially nice the, the survival, survival one. Because yeah. I don't know why I'd want to play the game where I'm just like some random, like small thing. Like I should be the biggest one. I mean, that's, that doesn't look aesthetic. You know? Doesn't look aesthetic. That I care about function and being a good speedrunner. Right, 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 right. That sounds boring and lame and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Quote Nintendo. <laughs> Maybe one day Nintendo will be more chill with their copyright. Uh, bullshit. Oh, all right. I got a 20.9. I'll take it. Hey, that's pretty I don't know if I can push that, dude. That was pretty fucking good. I, maybe I, you could push it down to like 20.7 or something. I don't know. That's I don't know, dude. Uh, I have to obsess over something. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. I think at, for like things that are competitive, I don't start until I don't like I'll figure out if I want to invest a lot of time into it by like 10 hours into playing the game, honestly. Sure. So like for Valorant, I was like, oh, I knew I wanted to like climb a little bit or like TFT. It's like, oh yeah, I really like this game. I want to climb it um, right. within the first like, few hours of playing the game. But like League, it's like I've never had any interest of ever <laughs> climbing. Mm. I just never found that interest. Oh, like it never pulled me into like, being competitive. I see. But when I'm in, I'm like, I'm like all in like, okay, let me watch all the videos. Let me learn the strats. Let me like get really deep into it i feel like that's one of my favorite parts man it's just so fun to it's so fun to absorb all the info but I, I think that's what i am with like things in general like random hobbies and stuff it's like oh, i wanted to learn how to beatbox so i spent like literally like a month like watching mm -hmm. every beatbox video and like you know creator and all that shit and like learn how to beatbox and it's just yeah like, that, was my per that was my personality for that <laughs> <laughs> for that month and then like it's like something that you have that you can do like whenever now right yeah so I, I feel like it's just so hype to learn yeah i'm just a nerd and i want to learn shit and if i can learn shit that is cool and swag then sign me yep. up partner it's all about the cool and swag all about the cool and swag dude That's i like don't know how to get an s on this level i think it's just it's just really fun to like it, it's this weird thing of like once you get past that like growth period of learning something it is more boring like you don't have like that sharp sense of growth that you do when you are a beginner. But I don't know. Well, it's, I mean, it always sucks when you don't you stop getting that feedback of like, ah, oh, I've learned something and I'm yeah. applying it, and then you're getting like a a block, especially for something like Valorant, where it's like a team based game, right? Mm -hmm. Where like you're kind of reliant on how others people perform, regardless of like your knowledge base. Mm. So it's like, ah, oh, like kind of shit when I've learned all this shit and I'm trying to apply it, and I should be having a certain like growth timeline and then you're not getting that feedback because someone else is like kind of holding you back it feels like yeah yeah Valor's an interesting one because yeah you're, you are reliant on other people um it it's it's an it's an interesting one it, it is why like speed running is is really cool because you are not reliant on anyone else mm -hmm. um <laughs> but i do like the cooperate like like cooperating with a team is really fun i think it is it's fun to figure out how to work with any team because at the end of the day the constant factor is you in your valorant games mm -hmm. so yeah we are playing with other people but like you're in every one of those games 100 percent, right i mean my mental with valorant is always like this is a 1v9 game period like i don't see it i got the way. s by the way nice <laughs> all right what is the time uh 115 115 fog out of here. Ah, 10.6, baby. 10.6. Oh, you did it? One ten point six. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't I don't want to push it further, dude. I think I'm good on that. What's it like taking taking cheeks and clapping names? Feels good. Feels good.
All okay. right, that's uh, S's in every single level in the uh, World Championships for the week. Uh, we'll be back next week, I guess.